everyone, my name is Sophie. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you along with me over three days while I pack up for my move, move, and then clean my old apartment. So I currently live in a one bedroom apartment with a den and I'm gonna be moving in with my fiance and we are gonna get a two bed, two bath with a den. So I'm excited to have a little more space and of course to live with him. So it's only a block away from where I live currently. So this move, I didn't buy a bunch of moving boxes and I'm just hiring movers for the big furniture pieces. So I wanna try and get everything out of the drawers and off of the surfaces of the pieces that the movers are going to take with them. The rest of the stuff I'm gonna be taking back and forth in my car. I actually bought a little wagon to help me with the move so I don't have to carry everything. But because I'm moving everything on my own and it's just going across the street, I am gonna try and wrap some of the fragile items, but I don't need to be too careful with it because it's not going in a big moving truck or anything. I'm moving it all myself. This bookcase is one thing that's not gonna go with me. I am actually going to give it away and I need to break it down to get it out of my apartment. But the new apartment has multiple built-in bookshelves and it doesn't have a lot of open wall space. So this is one thing I'm gonna have to part with. I'm sure you can tell that I'm not super savvy with tools, but I eventually got it all apart and was able to get it out of my apartment. One thing that I really did not like about this apartment was how small the laundry space was, but I am proud of myself with how I used the space and took advantage of the door for all of my cleaning products. In the new apartment, we're gonna have side-by-side -side washers and dryers and a little bit of a larger laundry closet. So I'm happy to have more storage, and that means I can get rid of this over-the-door organizer, which I don't feel too bad about. These are actually very inexpensive. So if you have a space like this, I would definitely recommend looking at an over-the-door organizer like I had. As with many apartments and temporary living spaces, I had command hooks in different places, so I need to take those down. And it is crazy the amount of dirt and dust that builds up around and behind different things. So after I took this organizer off and removed the command strips that were holding it in place, I needed to use my magic eraser and get rid of some of those marks. the next day now and this is day one of the official move I have Saturday and Sunday to get this whole thing done but the movers are coming today so I need to make sure that everything is off of the surfaces and out of the drawers and everything of the big furniture pieces that they're gonna be moving for me and they're gonna be here in less than three hours so I have a lot of work to do so let's go She's a 
while I thought I had all of the cords in my entertainment unit under control, I did keep a bunch of them in my storage box here and I fed them through one of the handles which made it look really nice from the front of the entertainment unit but it actually caused a lot of difficulties with me untangling everything to get it put away. And I'm just gonna keep all of these cords in one spot because they all go for my entertainment unit and my TV. And then when I move to the next apartment, all of those cords are together in one spot. take everything off of this nightstand so the movers could get in to my bedroom a little bit easier and access the bed and the dresser and all of that. The original plan was for me to move my nightstands on my own because I wanted to take anything that could fit in my car and have the movers move everything that wouldn't. But when the movers showed up and asked if there was anything else they should be taking with them in the truck across the street, I decided that these nightstands were a lot heavier than I thought they were and I had them toss those in as well. I just want to know It's all in my heart If you want it I don't deserve it I just want to know If we can go back If we can go back If we can go back I just want to know If we can go back If we can go back If we can go back The desk is for sure one that I wanted the movers to take so I need to move everything off of it and and again, take out all of the cords. We were crumbling, going over the edge with a weight of regret. Now I'm rising to fall behind. I've been holding on to your arms. And I can watch it burn. Like I did with the living room and the entertainment unit, all of these cords are gonna go together in one bag. So when I set up my new office, I know all of the cords that I need and I don't have to go around looking for them. Okay, so we just got access to the new apartment and I'm gonna give you a quick little tour around and then we have a ton of moving to do so we have got to keep going. So this first room is the den and it's going to be my fiance Jim's little office and from there we have a large kitchen space which I love that island and then a nice big open living area. We have our laundry room on the right, then our guest bath slash second bathroom. And then this is the second bedroom that's going to serve as my office and a little bit more storage here in that closet. There's a nice big pantry in the kitchen, which I cannot wait to organize. Then we have our bedroom a nice bathroom that's going to be our bathroom and then a long narrow walk-in closet that I'm hoping the two of us can share and fit all of our clothing in so we'll see so the apartment's looking pretty empty it is the end of day two I have been on my feet for two days straight moving stuff back and forth and back and forth and finally I have everything out of this apartment and I just need to clean it up a little bit and then I'm off to the new place. I'm gonna say goodbye to this one. So you guys can follow along while I clean this one up. So let's jump into it. 
We registered for a cordless Dyson vacuum and I've been holding off using it until we make the move. So this is going to be the last time that I have to use this big bulky corded vacuum and I'm sure you can tell I struggle with the cord so I can't wait to have one that's cordless. With cleaning the apartment, I'm not going for a super, super deep clean or anything like that. This is just to make sure it looks nice and clean for when I move out. I, of course, want to get my security deposit back. So you need to leave your apartment or any space that you rent in kind of a broom clean condition. So I'm going to wipe off all of the surfaces, sweep, mop, that type of thing, and call it good. Here's what I like Jumping from a roof that is almost too high Laying on the grass, I close my eyes Playing my guitar to my fingers and numb I had also started the cleaning process ahead of time. I knew that this move was going to be a little difficult to get done over just one weekend. So as I started packing up different drawers and cabinets, I would clean the insides of those out. So a lot of the drawers and cabinets are already clean and I just need to clean the surfaces. It feels so weird to be able to walk through my apartment and have nothing in the way. I used to have a giant rug here and my couch as well as my dining room table and chairs and now I can just walk through and sweep and access all of those areas that I couldn't get to before. This way, but it's not that easy. You're complicating things for me. No, it's not that easy. Look at how much dust I collected. And again, a lot of this was because it was behind places that I couldn't access, but also partly probably because of all of the moving and I wasn't cleaning like I usually do, probably the last week of living there. Why'd you have to go? I don't want to feel this way. cleaning methods that you're seeing right now are not my usual cleaning methods. I don't usually clean the bathtub with shoes on. I don't usually use as many paper towels as I'm using, but all I had was paper towels. And again, this is a space that I am cleaning so I can leave and move out, not cleaning because it's a space in which I'm living. You'll see that there's a shower head on the bathroom countertop and that's because I replaced the shower head that they had with one of my own and I need to make sure that I leave behind the original so I don't get charged for it. I hope you'll come back to me. Yeah, I'm just that stupid. Thought that we were meant to be. Yeah, I'm just that stupid. Maybe just a little time can make a change your mind about us. I thought that we were meant to be. I'm still breathing, it's not easy, I 
finally the last step is to mop everything and I've shown you guys this mop set before and I really like it and I love using it with the method squirt mop cleaners. At this point the apartment was starting to look really clean, kind of sad at how empty it was, but it was also smelling so good with the combination of those products. I love the almond and the spearmint scents. One last look at this apartment, all clean and pristine before we make the move to the new place. And while I'm sad to leave this one, I wasn't completely in love with this apartment and I do really like the new one, so I can't wait for it. This is definitely bittersweet for me the end of this apartment. I've lived here for three years, but I can't wait for my new space to live with my soon to be husband. So if you guys are excited and you can't wait to see the new organizing, cleaning, and all of the other motivational content, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can see all of the new spaces that I'm gonna organize. And until next time, I will see you guys later.